Why do so-called dumb CS majors get hired first? Why is it that the students who barely pass data structures, you probably know one of them, the ones building recycled Tinder clones, somehow walk out with job offers, while you, the hardworking, leak code grinding student, don't? Later in this video, I'm going to go over how one of my least technical students, and I'll put that in quotes, let's call him Jack, landed an offer in just 21 days. But first, I need to expose the real enemy that keeps smart students like you job List, while others are cruising to the finish line and easily getting offers. All right, super quick announcement and then back to the video. So my team of Aang engineers and I, we are taking on a few more clients to work directly with us for the next six months. This is not a course. In fact, it's the complete opposite. This is actually a mentorship program. We will personally rewrite your resume, help you get dozens of referrals, run you through mock interviews one-on-one, -on -one, build you an amazing portfolio, and really work with you every step of the way until you land your dream offer. If that sounds fair, just click the link in the description to book a free call with me. I'll look at your situation. I'll see what you need to improve. Again, just click the link in the description, book that free call, and now back to the video. Here's the page. It's in the description. And the real villain isn't who you think, right? So the quote-unquote dumb CS major isn't actually your enemy. The real villain is the system that they're aligning with, and it's a hiring funnel that overlooks and passes over smart engineers like you. They're playing a game they don't even know they're playing, and you're losing because you think the game is about being smart when that doesn't even matter. And here's a few reasons as to why that's the case. First, recruiters don't understand depth, right? They're scanning for surface level signals and buzzwords, not technical mastery. Automated filters also reward simplicity, right? ATS systems favor clear digestible formats over complexity and hiring funnels seek safety, right? Companies are looking to hire the least risky candidate, not necessarily the best engineer. So go over this a bit more in a second, but this game is not about intelligence as a a lot of smart students think it's about visibility and your visibility of your profile and your networking abilities matter far more than you think. So here's my story from overlooked to Amazon and Google. So in early college, I was one of the only CS majors who spent more time in the gym than debugging. And I thought that being smart was a differentiator. But then I watched one of my classmates, let's call him Mark. He probably couldn't even reverse a linked list and he ended up getting a FANG internship. And that moment broke my entire worldview. You probably know someone like this, someone who you feel like you're probably smarter than, and they've landed an amazing internship or new grad offer. But then on graduation day, I ended up receiving both Amazon and Google offers. And it's not because I was the smartest, trust me, I wasn't, it's because I learned how to play this recruiting game. And that experience planted the seed for what became the invisible hiring funnel, the exact system that's now helped hundreds of students land offers way above their expected level, what they thought was possible. And so again, here's the student who broke my worldview. Here's Mark's mediocre portfolio, and a weather app, a calculator, basic projects that looked like 2009 tutorials, yet he was still able to get interviews and eventually get, a, get an amazing internship offer. And his secret is that he didn't even try to look smart. He just tried to look hireable. I actually ended up asking him what his resume looked like. And his resume highlighted impact, right? He had very simple digestible bullet points that spoke to business value and highlighted quantitative impact, not some obscure algorithm. And my resume, on the other hand, at least that recruiting cycle, I remember it being like a textbook. I listed random data structures trying to prove that I was smart instead of showing that I could deliver. I listed a bunch of courses on my resume, things that I thought would help me get an interview, but trust me, they didn't. And companies don't hire the best engineer, they hire the least risky engineer. This is something you need to internalize. And that's why these quote unquote dumb CS majors thrive. It's because they're not overcomplicating it. They're not overcomplicating their story. And my students today who are landing insane offers are all learning this exact shift. And more on that in just a moment. So let's go over one of my other students. Let's call him Eric. He went from zero to five interviews. This is before working with me compared to after after working with me. So the problem, 300 applications sent, he got zero interviews. I tell you, this guy was brilliant, but he was getting terrible outcomes. And here's the insight that I taught him. Dumber students aren't actually dumber. They just don't sabotage themselves with complexity. So here's the fix. I rebuilt his project descriptions to speak to both recruiters and engineers, and we helped him create one showcase project. And the result is that he ended up getting five interview requests over the span of 10 days. He finally became visible. Again, this doesn't happen for everyone, but it was incredible to see for him. Now, 
Eric didn't become smarter, he didn't solve more leak code problems, he just stopped hiding behind complexity and started presenting himself as an obvious hire. One showcase project will do more for you than four bloated projects on your resume. And that's why visibility wins. I definitely was not the smartest person in my graduating class, not even close, but I was visible, and that's what helped me land offers from Amazon and Google. Projects that tell stories. My portfolio didn't just show code, it demonstrated impact, execution, and clear thinking. Campus presence. I also built a reputation and made myself known beyond just my resume. And then proof of execution. Recruiters didn't have to think about whether I could do the job because my work made that decision for them. Why does this matter for you, right? Because when you, my friend, when you become visible, companies compete for you. When you're invisible, you beg for a chance. That's why these dumb CS majors stumble into visibility by accident. And then smart CS majors hide behind complexity and wonder why they're not getting any interview calls. So I want to encourage you to stop losing to these dumb CS majors. Book a free strategy call with me at the link in the description. If you're tired of seeing less qualified students get offers while you're sitting there refreshing your inbox with nothing but rejection emails, then you probably need the exact system that my top students are using today. You'll get the invisible hiring funnel framework, the AI portfolio blueprint, live mock interviews with my team and I, templates, scripts, and walkthroughs, and direct support from me in building projects that actually get you hired. And this is the exact system that turned one of my clients, Jack, we turned his job search around in 21 days. Again, the link is in the description. You can just book a free strategy call to speak directly with me. Now, one of my clients, let's call him Jack to preserve his identity. You're going to want to hear this, his 21 day miracle. So his starting point, you know, he was above average technically, but his project still looked like everyone else's, right? And that's why he went months without a single response. I kid you not. And the portfolio rebuild. So we focused on a research paper replication project, a fine-tuned LLM demo, an elite portfolio site, and narrative-driven bullet points. Don't forget about that last part. His resume structured like an offer magnet. Every element was designed to make him the obvious hire. Every single bullet point was optimized to appeal to both recruiters and hiring managers. And 21 days later, he got an offer. Companies suddenly started chasing him. So what actually changed? Just zooming out. Jack stopped trying to be the smartest. He started trying to be the most obvious hire. And this is the same pattern across all of my top students. They were not picked because they were geniuses. They were picked because they didn't make employers think. Everyone thinks that recruiting is about being the strongest technically. And of course, technical skills matter. You need to pass technical interviews. You need to have enough technical skills on your resume to get an interview. But beyond that, it's far more about positioning than your actual technical skills. So again, the real truth about job search is it's not an IQ test. Nowhere in the job search are you required to take a formal IQ test. The job search is a signaling game not an IQ test. And here's why dumb CS majors consistently win. First, they're building simple, understandable projects that recruiters can actually understand when listed on a resume. Second, they're communicating cleanly. They're presenting their ideas without jargon overload. They're also presented as safe hires because predictable beats impressive and they're not sabotaging with complexity. They know how to clearly communicate their ideas in phone screens and behavioral interviews, which makes it easy for recruiters to say yes. Students who lose, they're assuming that companies will see their potential. If you've thought about that before, if that thought has run through your head, you're going about this process entirely wrong because companies are not going to just see your potential. They're just going to see your portfolio, your resume, maybe your online presence if you're posting on LinkedIn and, and clarity. Everything else is completely invisible. And so you need to master what I call the invisible hiring funnel. First, you need to build visibility, right? You need to build a portfolio that makes recruiters stop scrolling. Master the funnel, understand how hiring decisions are actually made and understand that after a certain point, it's less about your technical skills and more about your behavioral fit. And then you can really land the offer and become the one companies chase and not beg. So again, if you are tired of watching other students win while you stay stuck, the solution is not more leak code. It's building your second invisible resume that makes companies chase you. So the system is ready. Your transformation starts now. Again, my calendar is at the link in the description and you can book a free strategy call with me. We'll assess your situation and we'll come up with a game plan for you to turn this recruiting cycle around. If you want another video to watch, YouTube thinks you'll like this one. I'll talk to you soon.